Hello, so just gotten to where I'm loading up this tractor. I uh, couldn't find really any YouTube videos of how to load a tractor on a U-Haul trailer, so I figured I'd make one. Uh, folks can check it out here. Uh, I'll go ahead and spin around and let you see that. All right, so here we go. I've got the tractor. It's the Kubota, Kubota L3901. Uh, loaded up on this U-Haul automobile hauler. Uh, so in order to make that happen, I just... Uh, Got the Ram 1500 with it loaded up. Uh, total weight on the trailer, the tractor total is about 3,000. The trailer is about uh, 2,200. And uh, we've got a two inch ball on the truck working with this uh, U-Haul trailer. So I just pulled out these uh, ramps. I drove the tractor up, uh, you know, just going slow. Uh, it was a pretty tight fit, actually. Uh, the Tractor wheelbase is a little bit more narrow than a car. As you can see, it's just there, barely fitting on our trailer. Uh, and then also, this is some pretty tight clearance on the bucket right here. But I've got that bu bucket rest in here. I mean, the conflict might be a sharp turn. So you definitely want to watch out for that if you've got a bucket on the front. Uh, i got the Cub Cadet and a picnic table loaded up in the back as well. So definitely pushing a lot of weight for the truck, but... Uh, it's got a compressor and airbag system on it. I pumped that up to 45 PSI and that seemed to level it out pretty nicely. Uh, right now I'm just going to put some tie down straps on. Uh, so I got these two inch ratchet straps and I'm just going to be using this little uh, hook provided on the inside. You can see one right over there uh, for ratcheting it down. I'm going to attach it uh, probably most likely to this axle right there. Uh, and then on the back side, uh, I might do the same on an axle, basically. Uh, seeing as that might be one of the most secure spots to ratchet down. Um, then a few chains that the trailer comes with, I've kind of loop them around here, uh, trying to utilize those a little bit more. So uh, I might do an extra loop on that. Might be able to tighten that down a little bit so that this uh, box scraper on the back doesn't move around very much scrape it up or throw it around so as you may notice I did load the front of the tractor towards the vehicle that's where most of the weight is on that engine block uh, most of this is uh, not that heavy so try to keep the weight as far forward as possible uh, reduce your trailer from swaying behind you I'll bring it back for one more video once uh, I've got it all ratcheted down all right, just finished loading up the tractor. Got some uh, couple one inch or just one inch, one inch strap holding it down there. It's all chained up, uh, as well as some straps. I mean, kind of used what I had out here. I had some wire to wrap them up so they're not flopping around and unraveling. But I uh, uh, wish I had electrical tape. That would be the best way to go. That would really lock them down. I ended up securing on this. Uh, this back part of the tractor so did a four point attachment I dropped the uh, what they call the romps bars up there uh, just you know no need to have that extra clearance if I'm going under something uh, so it should be all locked down we're gonna hit the road and see how it does But as you can see, it does fit on there, barely with the front bucket. That, we'll see how that turns out, but uh, in general, the tractor will fit even with a uh, rear attachment. So pretty cool.